back guys and welcome back to Mermaid KK. Today is Fish Fact Fun Friday and we will be talking about my favorite animal in the whole wide world, the loggerhead sea turtle. So, the loggerhead sea turtle, I love them, they are named for their exceptionally large heads. Don't ask me why it's called a loggerhead when it's I guess because logger and large sound similar. Anyway, their scientific name is Caretta Caretta. That's very pretty sounding and I love it. And all you're doing is repeating one word two times. <laughs> Caretta Caretta. You just repeat one word. Easy to remember. Um, so their head is very large with strong jaws. Uh, their care piece here, their shell, is uh, is bony without ridges. So they don't have ridges like a snapping turtle or an alligator snapper. I'm using things that I know what they look like. Um, and has large overlapping scoots scoots suits don't ask me how to say that it's hard to it's hard to pronounce uh scoots or scales present with five lateral uh scoots or shells or scales <laughs> so the care piece is heart shaped and the front flip oh you can't see the care piece is heart shaped with five lateral scales all the scales overlap um the front flippers are short and thick and have two claws while the rear flippers have two to three claws so Either way, they're still adorable to me. Um, the care piece, as you can see, is a reddish brown with yellowish brown plastron, or the belly. It's a yellow brown plastron. Lots of big words in today's episode. Um, hatchlings have a dark brown care piece with pale brown flippers. So, they're really cute. They can grow, they grow up to be two and a half to three and a half feet in just the length of their car piece. Adults can weigh between 155 and 375 pounds. The heaviest thing I've lifted is my sister and she's like 190 pounds. <laughs> so I could pick up an 155 pound sea turtle. 375? Highly doubt it. <laughs> I am a tiny child. I'm 5 foot 3. <laughs> um, anyway, they're primarily carnivorous and feed on mostly shellfish, which this is where the strong jaw starts to come into play because they use their jaws to crush the shellfish, which the shellfish they usually eat are found on the bottom of the ocean, like horseshoe crabs, uh, clams, mussels, and other invertebrates. So, um, like jellyfish. I saw a video. Don't remember where I saw it, but there was a sea turtle eating a jellyfish. Weirdest thing I've ever seen. But then again, I've seen my brother and sister eat. <laughs> the horse. Um, they prefer to feed in coastal bays and estuaries. Don't ask me if I'm saying that right because I haven't the slightest clue. Um, or an estuary is basically where the tide of the ocean meets the mouth of a river. So, as well, uh, they also like to feed in uh, the shallow waters along 
uh, the continental shelves of the Atlantic, the Atlantic, the Pacific, and the Indian Oceans. Uh, when nesting season comes, they nest at intervals of um, two to four years. So every two to four years, we get a bunch of baby sea turtles. Um, they lay three to six nests per season, approximately 12 to 14 days apart, and each nest can contain between 100 and 126 eggs. So many babies. Um, and the eggs usually incubate for about 60 days, so in 60 days, if you're there when the mother lays the nest, makes the nest and lays the eggs, and you come back in 60 days, and there's baby sea turtles. So basically two months. Um, their status. In the U.S., the loggerhead sea turtle is uh, listed as threatened, which means that they are likely to become endangered or are in danger of extinction in the foreseeable future. Um, and they are protected under the U.S. Federal Endangered Species Act. U.S. Endangered... The U.S. Federal Endangered Species Act. Ugh, tongue twister. Um, internationally, they're listed as endangered, which means they face high, a high very, very high risk of extinction in the wild in the near future. Um, they're listed like this by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. So, we are working to protect these sweet, sweet babies. Um, their threats to survival, the greatest one is, um, Loss of nesting habitat due to coastal develop coastal development, predation of the nests, uh, and human disturbances such as coastal lighting and housing development. Um, which this causes the hatchlings, the little baby sea turtles, to become disoriented because they follow the light of the moon to get to the ocean, but house lights get turned on and they're just like, oh, that's the moon. When actually the moon is over here. So. They get really disoriented whenever they emerge from the nest. Um, and other major threats include uh, accidental capture in longline fishing, shrimp trawling, and pollution as well as incidental capture in fisheries, which that's thought to have played a significant role in the decreasing, the, bleh, in the recent population decline observed for the loggerhead in 2004, which in 2004, their population estimate was between 40,000 and 50,000 sea turtles nesting females, just the nesting females. So there were, there are, there were in 2004 more than 40, between 40,000 and 50,000 sea turtles, but there were only between 40,000 and 50,000 nesting females. So yes, there were more than just what we, we know there were because you have to account for males. And then the babies come along. So just nesting females, that's a lot. So, yeah. My favorite animal of all times, the loggerhead sea turtle. Anyway, that's all that I have for today's video, and I hope to see you in my next video, my next live stream, or my next vlog. Which, I will be live streaming this coming Tuesday, like I always do. I will let you know in a Fish Fact Fun Friday video if I won't be streaming on Tuesday. I promise you I will tell you if 
something comes up to where I can't stream on a Tuesday. I will tell you in the Fish Pack Fun Friday video. Um, which, as you can see here, my newest little piece of mermaid jewelry. Uh, I hope to be starting a line of jewelry like this sometime in the near future. I promise I am getting merch set up. I promise. Merch is getting set up. I will have merch for you guys. Um, and if we can hit... Let's say 10 subscribers by, let's see, the 31st of this month. If we can hit 10 subscribers by the 31st of this month, I will do a giveaway. I don't know what I'm giving away yet, but I will do a giveaway of something. <laughs> so, it may be a little bit of artwork that I've made, or it may be your very own little myrrh inspired jewelry but I will do a giveaway if we hit 10 subscribers by the end of the month okay love you guys and I will see you in the next video bye